plastics are having a profound and irreversible effect on our planet and our oceans. There's 12 to 15 million tons of plastics entering the ocean every year. When you look at styrofoam, the massive volume these foams have is one of the big issues. When they go in the oceans, they're nearly impossible to collect because they break into microplastics. We knew there had to be a better material. Cruise Foam is a circular materials company working in harmony with nature, really understanding the materials we create need to be part of the ecosystem in which they're used. I was born in California. I grew up in the East Bay area. One of the things I really enjoyed when I was a kid was getting to kind of discover the outdoors. When I graduated high school, I went down to UC Santa Barbara for a chemical engineering degree. They kind of gear you towards petroleum engineering, and that's what I had in my mind. Hey, I want to go out, make money, be successful. During my junior year, my mom had a stroke and everything shifted. And that's what I really think drove me into the ocean. I started surfing nearly every single day. What I saw through surfing was the plastic and the pollution. And I thought, why not apply what I'm learning and my passion around materials towards an ocean-specific solution? I met my co-founder, Marco Willandi. We connected around surfing and this real passion that we both had for the ocean. He was working with this material called chitin. What we really identified was this potential as a bioplastic, addressing what we saw as one of the worst offenders at the time, styrofoam. And that's when we saw packaging and the enormity of single-use materials and how chitin in our technology around biomaterials could be the solution for that space. Chitin is a natural biopolymer. We get it from a handful of different renewable sources. It is extremely abundant, not only in shellfish, there's about 10 million tons of shell waste that goes unused. It's also really popping up in insects. Also, it's found in fungus. It is the second most abundant biopolymer on the planet after cellulose. It has fantastic mechanical properties as far as really high strength to weight ratio. By utilizing those mechanical properties, we can combine it with other renewable waste byproducts, starches, fibers, bioplasticizers, and through extrusion, we'll create these novel thermoplastic pellets. That's how we create our sheet format foam. We can really create a diverse set of high specification tunable materials that allows us to initially address protective packaging. So when you look at just TVs sold in the US, there's about 200 million TVs sold last year. There's about a kilogram of styrofoam packaging in each of those TVs. If we were to replace all that packaging with cruise foam, that would be over 800 football fields, six feet deep of styrofoam replaced from one application. We really want to create solutions that can allow manufacturers to transition from petroleum-based materials towards renewable biomaterials and do it in a way that is truly circular. If you look at a lot of these other markets, there's still these enormous, not only amounts of foam, but other plastics. The construction market is absolutely massive. They use a ton of insulation in buildings, and that is typically really toxic foam. There's diverse opportunities in this space around biomaterials. And when I look at my daughter, everything I'm pouring into this company is solely looking towards her future. How do we start redefining how we interact with nature, how we create materials that work in harmony with the ecosystems? And for my daughter, I really want that to be something that is realized in her lifetime. My name is John Feltz. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Cruise Foam, based here in Santa Cruz, California.